we about to go out here for a hot lap qualifying. We're going to have a five lap heat race. Should be a pretty good uh, show. I think we got 24 cars here and the uh, 602 modified is pretty good uh, turnout. But uh, we're going to go out here and see what we can't do. The track's super heavy, which is kind of like what I like. I don't know how this car is going to react to it. Uh, we really only had it on, uh, you know, like a drier track. But we're going to give it, uh, give it what we can and see what we can do. Crank the brakes to the rear and let this thing eat off the chip. The Ranger Rooster Catering for all things chicken, including that fried corn. And when your sweet tooth starts acting up, go ahead and go see. Wow. The, cavity, the cavity connection, go see Haley. No, don't see the other guy. Go see Haley about getting those fried Oreos, funnel cakes. And then head down to the chill zone if you're looking for a milkshake. Jim, the milkshake from the chill zone. Getting this thing back together to go out here for the uh, heat race. Thank you, Mr. Ronnie, jumping in, and George, pretty good help right there. And of course, Dad. Let's jump in the car before they uh, call me late. I don't want to pull a Kyle Larson. Row two will be the 5W. He said Wilson and the B155 of Andrew Albertson. Row three is the 45 of Cambridge Gann and the 88 of C.J. Swift. Row four is the 19 of Ryan Morgan. And the zero for big time, that's Doug Penny.
Alright, so uh, apparently in qualifying, they were only taking the last two laps or three laps or something like that because they did hot lap qualifying. Well, that kind of screwed me because my fastest lap was on the first two, which weren't taken for a time of, or an official time. And then I just wanted to drop the top out. I got them on the top, and well, car pushed. It's kind of really heavy out there. Um, and I just, I wasn't able to keep my momentum up. So, kind of got uh, the short end of the stick on that one. But, you know, that just the way they run their series. And I ain't, I ain't really running these series races in a while. So, I can't tell you what they do week to week. But, um, we uh, made a few adjustments on this thing. I hope that, I hope that we went in the right direction for the heat race. I started eighth and uh, finished sixth. Um, yeah, so we got here. I think we're starting 17th in the feature. Way back there. I'm just trying to, really just need to try to keep this car in one piece. So I, I got to stop making work for myself. It, it just, that ain't no fun, you know. But uh, we can go out here and just ride, you know, and uh, see if we can't pass a few cars. And uh, I wish I was starting on the, the outside. Well, that way I had somewhere to go if something happens. Starting that far back, but we're uh, we start where we are, and we're just gonna go out here and give it what we got. And uh, we, we made a J bar change. I think it should help the car. I just the car just don't feel like it's really getting in the track. So uh, it, it definitely should be a world of difference now. But we can see. We're on all 17th in the feature for the Triple Crown Mid East race here at Fayetteville Motor Speedway. Road seven will be the 23S of Austin Self for the 45 of Cambridge. Row 8 will be the 23K of Kenny Cowan in the 82 of Colton Beach. Row 9 will be the 23K of Kenny Cowan in the 82 of Colton Beach. Row 10 will be the 12 of Rusty Harvin in the 88 of CJ Swift. Row 11 will be the 50 of Ronnie Cozy in the 28 of Mike Beasley.
Here's the aftermath. The nose just got a little banged up on that start. I just didn't have nowhere to go. 
left front on other hands, man. I just, I ain't got no words. Thank Luckily, we had this open trailer, well, my open trailer here tonight because we uh, sold a race car to a fella. But um, I just, I, for one, I just want to kind of apologize to everybody because uh, probably could have acted a little bit different. But I'm just plain sick of getting drove over. That, that fella in particular has drove over me more times racing crate stuff and uh, just there's a point where you get tired of fixing tore up race cars for no reason you know and uh i feel like I mean, the way i was raised you just gotta take up for yourself sometime when i asked him a simple question and uh he wanted to shove and sucker punch me so i gave him some back i had two guys on me but uh, that's beside the point it uh it got way out of hand but uh like i say i apologize to all my fans and sponsors and uh really my family all, all these guys that come to the race track and help me but uh I love, love having my team with me. Um, man, they had my back like nobody else. So just uh, we're just going to leave it there, and we're going to move on from it. We're going to go back and do some UMP racing. I think we're going to go up to Winchester next weekend. And I'm not saying that every crate racer can't race, but when you pass a man clean two times and he just gets pure mad because you, you outrun him, it's just the the difference ain't go, go drive through him. And uh, he tore up more than just my race car. I had a really good run going. Started 17th and uh, believe I was up to ninth. And uh, I probably could have finished the race, but the car was already hurt. It won't do sense in tearing anything else up. It actually broke a spindle. But um, like I say, I appreciate all the fans out here and uh, and my team. I really couldn't do it out with y'all. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get this thing home and uh, assess the damage and probably fix right down the trailer so we can get it cleaned up and ready again made a j bar adjustment and uh this thing came to life i could get on the outside and just run man it's just it sucks that some ignorant people sometimes just just ruin good nights like that but it's part of racing we're gonna get over it and uh y'all ain't gonna see us run away from anything so we'll uh we'll come back out here to fayetteville as long as they'll have us and i uh, also want to say uh my sorries to all the track staff because like i say it was uncalled for what happened but the way i was brought up is if uh somebody lands a punch on your face you uh you go back after them so like i say we're just gonna keep on keeping on and uh appreciate y'all and uh just i feel bad because uh i know a lot of a lot of kids look up to race car drivers and uh sometimes that ain't that ain't the way to be but the ones i watched growing up there was some that uh just got got to the point where they had enough and uh you got to take up for yourself but anyhow thanks all for watching i um, hope you all enjoyed the video and uh we just uh we ended off here it's late we got to finish loading up peyton took a pretty hard tumble tonight he flipped about four or five times end over end and we're uh, trying to get him in the car or in the trailer so we'll see y'all later